Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics, welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Shine video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my dad's 1933 Chrysler Imperial Phaeton. Now this one is a really neat looking model kit, so without further ado let's go down to the bench and see how my dad built this one. The 1933 Chrysler Imperial CQ series was all new for 1933 from the previous series CH and the wheelbase lost 10 inches. The 1933 Chrysler Inline 8 had a reduced displacement. Mechanical improvements offered were a silent helical gear 3-speed transmission, an improved oil filter and automatic choke. The engine was 298.62 cubic inches, Chrysler L head straight 8, and the transmission used was a 3-speed helical gear transmission. The wheelbase is 125 inches on the real car, which should be 6 inches in 124 scale. Overall length of the car is 212.5 inches, which is equal to 8.9 in 124 scale. The price of the 1933 Chrysler Fiaton was $2,195, which is equal to you paying $43,595 in 2022. The 1933 Chrysler Imperial Fiaton has been released by Atelieri and has included some really weird collaboration. One of these being with Academy Minicraft and the other with Testers in 1982. This version of the model kit is from 2001. So here's a look at my dad's 33 Chrysler Imperial Phaeton and uh, this is one in which he used bare metal foil along the trim. I'm not sure if he vacuum formed these fender skirts in the back or if they are included in the kit. The nice uh, red on the taillights in here, there's some more of the trim. This is one of my dad's later builds in his life and there are a few little interesting uh, specks and whatever in here that are in the paint that uh, he might not have done earlier in his life, but at any rate, he still did a wonderful job painting in the brown stripes and the red up along the side. Again, a really wonderful build. This model features a removable hood, and we can take a look at that engine as we go along here, as well as the interior. Here's the engine from the passenger side of our car, and it looks like my dad added in a whole bunch of the fuel lines and wiring in here that make the model look really, really great. There you can see that a bit better if I do that. And here's the engine from the passenger side. Again, we have the fuel lines going into the carburetor. We also have this wonderful air cleaner up top and a little fuel filter in here. Well, that would be our throttle control linkage. So again, my dad did a really nice job of this. He even has the spark plug wires going to the distributor up top. Here we have the interior from the back of the car, and you can see the wonderful upholstery again. There is a nicely painted carpet down below. We also have a window winding crank. Now this is possibly to lift up that dual cowl in the back so that the passengers could tuck to the chauffeur up front if there was one. Again, you can see the wonderful walnut grained dashboard and steering wheel. Very beautiful job done by my dad. Here's a nice look at the interior from the front of the car. And again, you can see the wonderful paint job dad put in here on the seats, as well as the dual cowl. So that means there's two windshields on this kit. The uh, dual cowl Fiaton, which again, it looks really, really nice. Some bare metal foil going down the center of the seat as well. And the wonderful door handles in here that Atelieri provide. Here we have the Chrysler from underneath. And my dad used this interesting kind of orangey red paint underneath here. Now back in the day they did actually paint the inner fenders different from the outer fenders. Again you can see the rear differential in here, our big motor and the transmission, the front steering assembly and front axle. These wheels do not actually steer like the Johan ones, they are basically set straight ahead. But again you can see the steering linkage and the braces going from the inner body actually the frame out to the fender sides here. Now I did have to glue on the rear wheel. This one was actually broken off when I received this model in my inheritance from my dad. <laughs> so I did a good job trying to get it back on. I was gonna pin it but there was no way to get around this fender skirt up here. Sorry right there and I couldn't remove it without damaging the paint or any of that thing. 
So I just had to use my skills as a model builder. You can see that uh, Dad added in a wire here for the fuel line. So again, one of his uh, more proud, basically late in his life type models. Again, very beautiful job done by my dad. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at my dad's 1933 Chrysler Fiaton model kit by Italieri. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to make a museum dedicated to both my dad's models and my models. I think I might call it the Monster Hobbies Model Car Museum, but I'm not too sure on the name yet. This is a future uh, project that I want to plan out. And if you want to help me with this financially, just click that join button down below or go to our homepage and check it out. You could also do this on our Patreon account, which the link will be in the description down below. But all you do is you click on there and for as little as $3 a month, you can help us to get this idea going of the Model Car Museum. So I would really appreciate ate that. And at the end of the video, you'll be able to get your name in the comments that scroll up at the end. So once again, thank you very much for watching these great videos. And until next time, happy model building.